Don't invest into your next coach or course until you watch this video. What's going on guys, my name is Alex and in this video I'm going to break down what you should be looking out for if you're going to invest into a coaching program and share a little bit about my personal experiences working with different coaches and consultants. Probably up to this point now invested a little over $120,000 worth of coaching programs and honestly there's probably only been about one or two that I really got a lot of value from. And here's the truth of the matter, right? So most information in today's society is free. You can honestly find just about anything that you want on the the internet for 100% free. The truth of the matter is the best coaches are going to show you how to take that free information and package that up and show you how to implement that to your business. Most people pay not for the value, but for the implementation. So I want to spend a little bit of time talking about me in the past two to three years and all the different types of programs we've invested in. The biggest life lesson to keep in mind here is that honestly, guys, you probably don't need to invest into two, three, four, five, six, seven different coaches until you've really learned and understand this one thing. And that's the best type of coaches are generally the coaches that are a couple steps ahead of you, right? This is something that kind of took me by storm. It took me a little longer to figure this out. And I probably could have saved myself a lot of money if I had known this sooner. But you know, you might be here inside your journey and you want to get to here. Well, don't invest into someone that's all the way up here, right? And what I mean by that is what you tend to see is that most of the programs where you're just so far away from the outcome is going to be filled with a bunch of people in these high end group coaching calls where it's like 100 people in a group coaching call, you can barely get get a question off or like the business owner, the CEOs have no real connection with their clients because there's six different client success managers, five different coaches. Like you're not really getting the value because in most cases you need some type of one-to-one -one support or connection. So what I've been looking to do from this point and on is invest into people that are a few steps ahead of me or ahead of where I want to be. And the cool thing about that is you can literally see in real time, the exact steps that you need to take to get from here to there without being overwhelmed. Give you as a quick example, one of the first coaches we invested in early in our business was making about you know five to ten mil a month in revenue, maybe even a little less than that, but around like you know a mil to five million dollars a month. And we were just trying to figure out how to make our first twenty to fifty thousand a month. And that program, that offer was pretty good, right? It just wasn't a good fit for us. And we were all sold in and bought into that vision. And honestly, like it wasn't a bad program, it's just that we weren't a good fit for it. So when we started to see the most results and success is when we were investing into people that that maybe we're at $20,000 a month and we're paying people that are at 80, $100,000 a month and aren't too far from where we were once were. So that's kind of the biggest thing to take away from that. And if you're looking for a coach, there's certain things that you should be looking for. One is this person have a proven track record. Do they have multiple happy clients, customers that have proven to got from one point to the next in a reasonable time? Two, have they gone through the trials and tribulations themselves, right? Like you probably clicked on this video and you either do know or you don't know, but I'm a coach myself and I'm telling you not to invest into coaches, right? It's crazy. But it's not that you shouldn't invest into a coach. You just want to make sure you're making the right decision. That coach has gone through the same issues that they've gone through and are showing you the same strategies that they're using themselves. For example, we help coaches and consultants scale to 20, 50, 100K per month, leveraging their personal brand and paid ads. Same strategy I'm using right now is exactly what I'm teaching my clients. This is so important because if anything were to change in that space, I'm going to be aware and I can trickle that down to my clients. So another program we're a part of, we're getting a bunch of outdated information, strategies and, and systems that that are outdated that the CEO himself or the head coach wasn't even using anymore. But because they used it once like a year ago and it worked for them, they're still teaching those strategies that are outdated, right? As you can see, there's a clear problem with that, right? So it's super, super important that your coach has a proven track record. They have also are doing what you want to do or what they're teaching. And then the third biggest thing is that there's a certain moral compass that aligns with you and your coach, right? So the big thing that I love to highlight with my team, with myself, with just people in general is having core values. There should be certain core values that you keep upheld in your business, in your life, that you make that clear and profound and really evident in your marketing, in your personal brand, in your program, in your business, in your life, because you want to be able to align with certain people. There was another coach that had certain morals and beliefs that we just didn't align with. And it was came down to a point where we just didn't feel comfortable implementing the strategies and systems that they were teaching us because it just felt different. Not that it was inherently wrong. It just didn't align with us. A lot of people invest in coaching programs and they're like, ah, oh, it's a scam or this is, you know, didn't get the value. And in most cases, as the consumer, it's up to you to do the right due diligence and make sure that you're actually investing into a program beyond the transformation or outcome that they're, they're promising. You're investing into the program for much more than that. The community they have, the people that they surround themselves with, the beliefs that they have, the strategies 
that they're using that they're going to also teach you how to use. And I say that because I personally don't let certain people inside our program unless those things align with us as well. They need to have those same values, same goals and desires to even work with us. I don't care how much money you have, right? So that's so super important. And the online coaching space as it currently stands, it's a tricky space, right? Because it seems like there's just more and more coaches every day and more and more people getting scammed. Most coaching programs are a scam. And I don't mean a scam from the person's intentionally trying to take your money, but we as coaches spend so much time in getting so good at marketing sales. Most coaches don't even spend a fraction of that time with their client success. They need people through the door and they need money. So they put all their time, effort, they invest in all those types of coaches, but they don't invest into a client success managing coach, or they don't really refine their, their results or they refine their strategies to help their clients because all they care about is marketing. So what I'm saying is a lot of coaches get so good at marketing sales that they get good at overselling their program and under delivering. Should be the opposite, right? You should be over delivering, making these amazing guarantees and promises that you over deliver on that people come in and like, oh my God, this blew it out the water. I was expecting this, but you guys provided this. This is so important because at the end of the day, you can be the coach that is always looking for new clients, or you can be the coach that has a good client retainment. You're getting clients re-enrolling with you because you're just doing such an amazing job. Maybe you clicked on this video and you're looking for a coach right now, or you just clicked on this video just to give it a watch and check it out. Either way, keep this in the back of your mind for future reference. I want to make sure you make the right decision and you align with the people you're investing in and you're also not getting scammed because there's a lot of people in the market space right now and i'm seeing a lot of people just coming to us here at the dba saying oh yeah this coach taught me this this and this and, it, and they took all my money and i didn't invest or i didn't make any money back rather and there's some coaches out there that are charging like 12 15 000 for their services and i'm getting people on the phone saying yeah i just blew you know fifteen thousand dollars on a coach worked with them for six months and i didn't make any money i'm just like what that's just insane you know what i'm saying and like you might be watching this video and that might have happened to you and that's the harsh truth and the reality of the situation so it's one of the biggest reasons why i'm trying to build my personal brand my youtube channel and i recommend if you're coach selling services you do the same you want to be able to showcase your knowledge your expertise your values through more than a sales call a 45 minute sales call or, or 30 minute discovery call you want people to be able to look at you align themselves with you and then come to you ready to roll ready to invest and, and with trust as well all right so hopefully this video provides some value and some insights to you guys today if you enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already like this video comment down below and let me know what you think i'll see you guys in the next video